Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4's newest DLC, Far Harbor. My name's Camel and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show you how to acquire the unique meat hook, namely the Butcher's Hook. And of course to acquire this you will need the DLC Far Harbor installed. Now acquiring the Butcher's Hook is effortless, oh, who would have thought? Anyway, we need to come to the Horizon Flight 1207, which can be found southwest from the town of Far Harbor. Once here we need to find the very friendly super mutant Ericsson. Once we find him, talk to Ericsson, head to Barter, go across to Weapons, and Butcher's Hook will be there. And of course, the price of Butcher's Hook will vary depending on your character's charisma level. And as always, before modding the Butcher's Hook out and taking a look at its base stats, I have reduced all my character's special attribute stats to 1. I also have no bobblehead perk or magazine effects applied to my character. What this means is we will be seeing the absolute minimum base stats of the weapon. Now, when it comes to modding out the Butcher's Hook, there's only one mod slot, and in that mod slot, there's only one mod. This is, of course, the Extra Hooks. As we can see there it gives a chance to disarm and gives better damage. So let's chuck those extra hooks on there. And now that it's been modded out we can see that it has a base ballistic damage of 27, its speed is medium, its weight is 24 and its value is 169 caps. And as we can see up the top there Butcher's Hook refills your action points on a critical hit. Well 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 isn't that an interesting legendary effect? Specifically of course the relentless legendary effect. But we'll touch on how that works a little bit later on. As we know, the Butcher's Hook is a named unique variant of the Meat Hook, a new weapon introduced with the Far Harbor DLC. Now the damage of the Meat Hook can be increased by the Bloody Mess perk and the Iron Fist perk. Yes, that is correct, it is considered an unarmed weapon and not a melee weapon. So the Big Leaguer's perk will not affect the damage of the Butcher's Hook. Now the fact that this is considered an unarmed weapon is quite fun because as I'm sure we all know, in Fallout 4 we didn't exactly get a huge selection of unique unarmed weapons. So now perhaps that this exists, your long awaited unarmed Fallout 4 playthrough might be a viable and doable option. So if you do want to use the Butcher's Hook in an unarmed playthrough, let's talk about it a little bit more. The Butcher's Hook is a decently sized unarmed weapon which vaguely resembles a pirate hook. It functions much like the Deathclaw Gauntlet even using the same melee finishes, but is much smaller and lighter. Much like the Deathclaw Gauntlet, it can be upgraded into a larger variant that adds two extra hooks, giving a total of three, increasing the damage and of course adding a chance to disarm the enemy. A very useful bonus. So provided you fully mod out the Butcher's Hook, you'll have better damage and a chance to disarm the enemy, and then provided you have the Iron Fist perk up to full, you'll get the Paralyzing Palm perk, which gives a chance to paralyze enemies. So although even when fully modded out, I was only able to get Butcher's Hook's damage up to about 130, with the combination of a chance to disarm the enemy and also a chance to paralyze the enemy, the Butcher's Hook might actually be a sensible choice of weapon for either your unarmed or melee playthrough. Although for a melee playthrough there are probably better options, when it comes to unarmed playthrough you can't really be too picky, so you might as well give the Butcher's Hook a try. Now the Butcher's Hook's legendary effect is actually incredibly useful, because the weapon is light and only has a medium swing speed the AP cost is not too much. So of course this legendary effect, action points refill on a critical hit, is almost like an infinite cycle of you inside vats. So your critical meter fills upon every hit on an enemy inside vats. So if you get your action points to a level in which before running out of action points you can perform a critical hit with the butcher's hook then you will literally have an endless supply of vats hits with the butcher's hook. Fill your critical meter, do a critical hit, your AP points fill up, then you do more VATS hits with those AP points, before running out you do another critical hit, and this cycle goes on and on and on until your enemies are destroyed. So as well as being a possible viable option for an unarmed playthrough, it does also, just on the side, turn you into a god. So be sure to keep that in mind while using it. Just be warned, sometimes the animations can be a bit jerky. Because of this I only use it on a rare occasion. So yeah, this weapon could have been more well done. And although some of these are cutting remarks, I have to make ends meet as the stakes are high. Anyway, I hope this helped you and that I didn't butcher it. And here it is, the butcher's hook in action.
And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Camel, and I do hope that this helped you in acquiring and understanding how it can be used. The Butcher's Hawk. As always, if you did enjoy this video and you would like to see a video similar to this one, please feel free to click on the playlist button on screen. This, of course, will take you directly to my Fallout 4 Guides playlist where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely. Or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 Guides. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter. If you have it, of course, and if you don't, then get it. You now have a reason. And with all that said, once again, I would like to thank you very much for watching. I wouldn't be able to do this without you. And I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there in a second.